Boston U had quite the opening weekend in men's soccer, starting 2-0 with a pair of 1-0 shutouts that featured some late-game heroics. Lucas McBride was the hero Friday against Fordham, scoring in the final second of overtime off a great all-around team play by the Terriers. The Rams wanted the offsides call, but as you can see, McBride was clearly onside and he buried it home with less than a second left. So I just found myself in the box, found like a couple seconds left in the game, just, just poked the ball in. It was a good ball from Richie and pretty much just tapped in and that was it. I just needed to get in the box and that's it. Boston U came back out on Sunday and Felix DeBona headed in a free kick by Bjarki Benedictson in the 75th minute for the 1-0 win over Iona. Bucknell's opener against Binghamton did not go well, as the Bison trailed 2-0 until Justin Galliani scored with no time left in the 2-1 loss. The momentum from Friday's late goal carried over to Sunday as Patrick Figge hammered home his own rebound in the third minute to take a 1-0 lead over Hartwick. Jonathan Grad added an insurance tally on a penalty kick in the 60th minute for the 2-0 win. For 101 minutes, Colgate and St. Mary's played scoreless soccer, but in the 102nd minute, Ethan Coulter was taken down in the box, and he scored on a penalty kick to give the Raiders the 1-0 season opening win, the first at the new buyer Small 76 field. Coulter was added again on Sunday, chipping in a goal in the 65th minute to tie Niagara at 1. But in overtime, Callum Wilmot directed in the game winner for Niagara. Holy Cross's Arno Rupp scored early in the second half against Hartford to make it 1-0. But Omar Tall equalized about 9 minutes later and the game ended in a 1-1 draw. Eric West scored Lafayette's lone goal off a set piece in a 1-0 win over St. Peter's on Friday. Lehigh's Ali Famili scored on a penalty kick to tie it at 1 versus Manhattan. And in the 33rd minute, Jamie Lucchini scored the eventual game winner in a 2-1 victory Sunday. Boston U and Lehigh sit atop the non-league standings at 2-0, while six teams sit at 1-1. For the full schedule of events on the Patriot League Network, log on to PatriotLeague.tv. For the Patriot League Network, I'm Melanie Plowski.